Larry. I, I yep. took him to uh, an exhibition where the Marines were there, right. and they they had a video game. He ha- he got to hold a real M16 that didn't fire bullets, right? But it it fired at the screen, and, and it's used as a real tool with with real military personnel sure. to um to 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 desensitize to killing, to increase proficiency. And to pro- provide you with, with with real life scenarios, and he he thought it was the coolest thing ever. And can't well, it, it is cool. Yeah. And uh, but the thing is, the military gives you some ethics. <laughs> yeah. Uh, about when to pull yeah. the trigger. But here's yeah. one. Here's the thing we haven't talked about in the Grand Theft Auto games. The bad guys are the good guys. Yep. If you kill all the police, you win. If you, if you and, and after you have after you, you have virtual sex with your prostitute, you, if you kill her, you get bonus points. You get bonus. points. I mean, points what what kind of what kind of fa- what kind of family values is that teaching? Well, Jack, hold that thought. I got to yeah. I got to do a news break here at the bottom of the hour. Sure. More from my guest, Attorney Jack Thompson. Your call is coming up 460-1170. 460-1170. It's the Pat Campbell Show on Talk Radio 1170 KFAQ. Hey Elvis, throw on the headphones here real quick. Eight thirty four here on Talk Radio eleven seventy KFAQ. You know, Elvis, I was I was talking about mm-hmm. my son and getting a hold of the, the, the gun and doing the uh, marine video game. Over the weekend, I gotta get you to help me out with this. I saw the most awesome obstacle course. It's it's gotta be like a military training course or a police training course around Jasper and Peoria. Do, does anything ring a bell there? Would it, would it be like a SWAT training place? Is that SWAT, Lori? Lori oh, would know. It is so cool. It's got like monkey bars, three. Is story. that the one in the schoolyard? It's all fenced in. Okay, I don't know that. But it's got like monkey bars, three really? stories up. You try um, to get in? No, no. But my my kids my kids would go nuts and be like, oh, let me at it, let really? me at it. So maybe instead of video games, we'll go to the. Uh, That's the, what you need to do. The SWAT training. That's course. what you need to do. Hey, if you're just tuning in, we're talking with a buddy of mine, Attorney Jack Thompson from Coral Gables, Florida, and uh, we're talking about Grand Theft Auto for a, a game that's so. So sexually explicit, we can't even really tell you what's what's involved um, because we'd get into trouble with the the FCC. Jack, you still with me? I am. Beautiful. Let's take some calls here. Let's hey, go to Pat, yes, sir. B- before you do that, yes, just real quick, folks. Um, this is not about me trying to impose my entertainment taste on anyone. This right. is about a public safety problem, and let me tell you what's really frightening: brain. Uh, experts know that the sex and violence control parts of the brain are geographically interlocked with one another. And if you, if you then put, in layman's terms, violent and sexual material that has both those aspects in a teen's brain, you're stimulating both and you're mm-hmm. wedding the two notions and the two behaviors to one another. And so what we can say on the air is that you have sex, you're clearly having sex, which I will not describe, and then when you're done, you kill the person. Yeah. With So it's like a snuff film. And uh, uh, this is very troubling. Uh, we're going to see behavioral consequences from this. So this, folks, this is not about, gee, what is Jack Thompson being prudish about or anybody else being prudish about? This is a public safety issue. And this is why prosecutors need to come against this particular game because the world has never seen anything like it. Let's go to the phones and talk to Jim. Jim, you're on the Pat Campbell Show with Jack Thompson. Yeah. Um, about eight years ago, we uh, were at Holland Hall, and we went to a uh, session by a colonel, and I've forgotten his name. Lieutenant Colonel he, Dave Grossman. Dave Grossman with Killology.com. Yep. And um, Dear friend of mine. I, uh, I his, It was really enlightening because I thought, you know, uh, all the people at the school um, thought he was going to get talk about gun control, and he systematically walked us through the process. That in World War II, it was very unusual. It was hard to get soldiers to shoot at other human beings. It's not natural for people to want to kill people. Right. And they noticed something like only 15 and 100, 20 and 100 right. soldiers would shoot at another human being. So they, after the war was over, they said, "What can we do to make this better?" Well, instead of using targets, they use silhouettes. It looks more like a human. They to make it more difficult. And then over the years, we've progressed to the point now where all of our special forces, that's SEALs, uh, SF, and Army Rangers, uh, do extensive training with video games. When he reviewed the, the Paducah school shootings, right. nine of the 11 children were in the head while moving. The kid came in there and went plink, 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 plink. Um, Grossman said, I can't get my special forces to get nine out of 11 headshots. Right. Let me, that, and, I represent. And, 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 the, yeah. and the, let, me, let me finish. Yeah, but, sure. Uh, the, uh, um, 
the, the point being um, is we are, we are raising children who, who it's not, it, it raises no emotive response to kill someone. They've done it 10,000 times on a video game. The earlier our kids do this, the more at risk they are. And he said we absolutely should shut these games down. No kid should shut these games before age six when they're, when they're, uh, they're, they're developing. And, and you are right. It is not just a, well, he's, got a bad, he's a bad kid. We are all exposed to this risk. Um, and, and you are exactly right. I'm a physician. You're exactly right about the, the sexual centers being very close um, geographically and, and, and hardwired in, right. to the violence centers. And it, it, this is a public safety issue. Right. You, you don't even put down the moral issue. Although, well, and he's, that's an easy argument. God bless you for getting it. You know, you, you got it. You heard that, and the most brilliant man on this issue is Dave Grossman. He taught me what I know about it. He got me involved in the Paducah school shooting case, and I represented the six parents of the three girls shot and killed there. I've addressed the American Bar Association three times with Colonel Grossman, uh, both of us making our separate points on the same issue. But here's, here's the, the killer stuff, no pun intended. Harvard. Indiana University and Michigan State have all done brain scan studies where they have kids play video games. Guess what? The midbrain, the amygdala, the animal part of the brain, lights up like a Christmas tree. The prefrontal cortex, the frontal lobes, is as dark as night. Why? Because until a brain matures, the prefrontal cortex doesn't connect to the midbrain. And therefore, the, 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 the frontal lobes, which tell the animalistic, emotion-driven part of the brain uh, don't do that because something bad will happen. Do not intercept these impulses and these behaviors. So there's a neurobiological deficit. I, basically, a kid is retarded when it comes to this until his brain matures into his early and mid-20s. I have a 15-year-old. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about firsthand. And this is why the Supreme Court in Roper v. Simmons in March of 2005 looked at brain scan studies and struck down the juvenile death penalty, which as a conservative Republican I happen to think is a good thing because kids don't have the brains that adults do to be able to handle a game like this, and therefore they're more likely to copycat these violent behaviors because their brain is retarded. All right, Jack, let's go to the phones. We've got uh, Jeremiah, an 18-year-old gamer. Jeremiah, welcome to the program. Hey, uh, there, there's like, that. He's, he's wrong. I, I'm, I'm what am I myself. wrong about, Jeremiah? That the game is making us retarded to where we don't function. I, I have not killed nobody. I play, I've been playing Grand Theft Auto ever since the first one. When? How and old were I'm, you? How old were you when that began? I was thirteen. Oh my! Thirteen years old when I started playing. Okay, and, Jeremiah. Let me let me explain. And you've made an excellent point. Not everybody who plays these games, even as young as thirteen, becomes a killer. But here's what the American Psychological Association has found, and that is two things. The entire universe of people that play these games shift more towards the more aggressive end of the continuum. And therefore, uh, and they've done studies and they found this to be true. Secondly, I thank God that you are not a child that is so at risk that you've gone Columbine or gone postal on anybody. But you and I both know, Jeremiah, that there are kids out there who, for whatever reason, are at risk uh, and they have risk factors that you don't have, and this can be the straw that breaks the camel's back, and they do do these things. Yeah, you know, so Jeremiah, crazy. kids went to school for 300 years in this country with guns. Why? Because they'd go hunting for dinner after school. But they never turned them on one another and shot their classmates because they were trained not to do that. But now those things are happening with increasing frequency. But kids need to realize that it's a video game just like I do. Kids don't realize. That's the point. There are some kids who are wired in such a way or who are in uh, troubled homes or who have been bullying uh, victims I've like Klebold and Harris who, turn, who use these things as murder simulators, which is Colonel Grossman's term, and they basically rehearsed their revenge on these games and they acted out. That's what Columbine was about. I've been in a trouble home my whole life, and I'm not going out there and shoot people. I use the game as, you know, as a stress reliever or something, you know, for entertainment. It's not a stress it reliever. Is. is it fun to play the games? Yes, it is. Okay, I, well, there's the great lie, and that's...